Hi, I'm Marlo. And I'm Miley. And you're watching Cat, Cat TV, TV News. Welcome to March with Marlo. Every week this month, we'll go over a topic of my choice. N no, Marlo. It's, it's the weekly Wiley show. We went over this. Why can't we ever get along? We'll talk about this later, Marlo. Anyways, it's actually National Disability Awareness Month, and today is National Peanut Butter Appreciation Day. Well, as much as I love peanut butter, birds love it even more. Cat TV's reporters Noah and Nate filmed and edited Natural Science's recent bird watching project. Let's see how it came out. Do you enjoy bird watching? Yes, I really enjoy bird watching. It's probably one of my favorite things we've done this year. It's really cool because we get to sit outside and just see all the different species of birds and learn about all like the age differences and see like all the different types that are around us. Personally, no, because I mean sometimes it's pretty cool sometimes. Um, like when it's freezing out, it's not fun. But like when it's nice, it's pretty cool. I mean, I, yeah, I guess it's cool. What do you hope to accomplish with this project? To learn a little bit more about like our surroundings and the birds that live in our area that you might not know about. Do you report the information collected to any place outside of school? Uh, yeah, there's this app we use. It's called the Merlin uh, Cornell uh, like bird app. And on here it shows like, f like photo ID and sound ID. And when I like hear a bird I've never heard of, I click like sound ID and it records it and then saves it and it identifies the bird for me. All right, so this is what we feed the birds. It's not protein. It is a mixture of sunflower seeds and corn. We kind of just like throw it and sprinkle it all around. What are some of the interesting bird species that you've observed? Uh, we get some really cool ones. We've seen red-tailed hawks, black-crowned night herons, um, kingfishers. Cardinals, blue jays, I don't know. We saw an otter, so. Our blind is right next to a little like lake thing that we got going on. We've seen an otter. That was really exciting. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Sure. Um, I just want to say how extremely grateful I am to be able to teach this subject to the students. Um, how fortunate we are to have the area and the school to go out and observe birds and see such a diverse um, range of wildlife is really cool. And just like every day, I'm so fortunate to teach this position and have such wonderful students that you know enjoy it. And uh, hopefully, hopefully they take this knowledge into the future and when they go out into the nature, they, they really absorb it and, and enjoy the full experience. So, yeah. Thanks. Back to you guys in the studio. Great work. We've been working really hard on CGI and green screen here at Cat TV News and is clearly paying off with this bird segment. We all know birds aren't real. Tomorrow's mandatory Skills USA meeting. If you're planning on being in Skills USA, make sure you attend the 235 meeting in the conference center after school. Speaking of mandatory, today is the deadline for next year's class schedules. Please make sure you hand in both your paper schedule and go on Power School and turn in your schedule request there. If you have any issues, contact your guidance counselor. The Key Club has been doing an animal shelter donation for animal outreach. There are boxes in the main office, guidance, and the library. The shelter is very desperate, so any donation is a good donation. Boys basketball won 56 to 48 against Camden, and girls basketball won 47 to 30 against Timber Creek, both of which played last week. Cat TV reporters snatched some highlights too. Let's see what they got.
the Winter Olympics have just come to a close. So we're asking y'all what your favorite sports are. Let's see what you had to say. Uh, my favorite Olympic sport, I guess, is uh, skating in the snow. Yeah, you know, I love some of that Nordic combined. It's, it always, it warms up the soul. My favorite Winter Olympic sport is ice hockey because I think it's pretty neat. Um, my favorite winter Olympic sport is ice hockey. Figure skating is my favorite winter Olympic sport and Cassie is my favorite figure skater. Uh, my favorite sport is bobsled. <laughs> okay, the question is, what is my favorite winter Olympic sport? I gotta say um, downhill skiing but I also love ski jumping. I think it's exciting. Now, the one thing I don't understand is why curling is a sport. I think curling is pretty much, it, it makes archery look like a sport. Uh, my favorite is the biathlon because it was just explained to me that it's skiing with guns and that is the coolest thing I've ever heard. Like, that's just skiing, but you also just shoot targets. And that sounds insane and I've never heard of it before, but it is immediately my favorite. Uh, my favorite Olympic sport is ice hockey. Mine's figure skating. My favorite winter Olympic sport is ice hockey. My favorite Olympic sport is airplane skiing. Mine is ice skating. Uh, my favorite uh, the winter Olympic sport is probably snowboarding it, because it looks like an intense sport and I really like intense stuff. My favorite Winter Olympic sport is ice hockey because I always played it as a kid. My favorite Winter Olympic sport is curling. I know like literally nothing about it, but I just like watching them throw them discs. My favorite Olympics, Winter Olympic sport is hockey because it's just the best sport. Cross country skiing. My favorite Winter Olympic sport is short track speed racing because they're fast. Speed skating. Speed skating is really nice. My favorite Winter Olympic sport is, has to be bobsledding. Um, my favorite is skeleton. It's, it's amazing. What is your favorite Winter Olympic sport and why? Ah, uh, it's curling, baby. Curling. Why? Because I like to watch those guys get that broom going as they're going down the ice and everything like that and trying to knock those uh, rocks out. Of, uh, from the competitors. Imagine the school can do this. Use the hallway, fill it up with water, get, get, let that thing fill up with ice, get some cold freezing elements underneath there. You could have a curling team right here at Tech. How exciting would that be? That'd be pretty awesome. It would be. And, yeah. and the hallways are wide enough for it to happen too. Oh, come on. That would be the perfect sport to put in here. We should start a petition. We should. I agree, Ryan. I agree. Yeah. And this would be a good hallway, too, because of the, like, slope. You don't need the slope. It's uh, got to be flat. Oh, okay. I'm right there. Yeah. Perfect. Maybe that'll be our newest school club, but leave that idea to the school. Good idea. Anyway, I'm Wiley. And I'm Marlo, and you're watching Cat, Cat TV, TV News. News. Hey, where were you today? Why don't you have a mask on? You should know better. There's a virus. Millions of people die. I don't gotta wear a mask. If you don't wanna wear a mask, well, you should, but if you don't wanna wear a mask, then I guess we can't be friends. What? Noah! That doesn't make sense. There are thousands of doctors in America that have to deal with COVID patients every single day of their life. But now, with this beautiful invention, we get to lessen that. We get to lessen that. And we, 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 we stop going! Swear these now!